is the first example of spherical coordinates, using spherical coordinates. Let's uh, use spherical coordinates to find the volume of a sphere of radius r. So we know that the volume is going to be the triple integral over the solid of 1 dv. So let's see if we can figure out how to set the bounds up. First of all, in rectangular coordinates, the equation for a sphere is x squared plus y squared plus z squared equals r squared. And uh, hopefully you remember that in spherical coordinates, x squared plus y squared plus z squared is the same as rho squared. If you don't remember that, just take all those things, plug in, use the Pythagorean theorem a couple of times, and this is what you'll get. So unsurprisingly, the equation for a sphere of radius r is rho equals r. Now let's use that to set up the bounds. Remember, in spherical coordinates, dv is equal to rho squared sine phi d rho d phi d theta. I put rho on the inside, because this is my sphere. If I want to get the entire solid sphere, I need to start at the origin and go all the way out to the sphere. So rho is going from rho equals zero, which is the origin, to rho equals big R, which is the sphere. My phi, I want to go all the way from the North Pole to the South Pole. So that's going to be from zero to pi. And then I would like theta to go all the way around the z-axis. So theta is going to go from zero to two pi. Well, here's a fun thing to observe. Notice that all six of my bounds are constants. So that means that in spherical coordinates, a sphere is a rectangular solid. Also notice that my integrand is a product of rho, a function of rho, a function of phi, and a constant function of theta. So I can break this up as the product of three separate integrals. An integral from zero to two pi of just one d theta times the integral from zero to pi of sine phi d phi times the integral from zero to r of rho squared d rho. The integral from zero to two pi of d theta is just two pi. The antiderivative of sine phi is negative cosine phi, which I'll be taking from phi equals zero to phi equals pi. And the antiderivative of rho squared is rho cubed over three. And I'll take that from rho equals zero to rho equals r. So I get two pi times Cosine of pi is negative 1, times another negative 1 is positive 1, minus a negative, cosine of 0 is 1. So I get 1 plus 1 here. Substituting over here, I have 1 third big R cubed minus 0. So 1 plus 1 is 2 times 2 pi is 4 pi times 1 third r cubed, which gives me 4 thirds pi r cubed, which is indeed what we remember as the volume of the sphere of radius r.